Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, the U.S. National Aerobatic Championships is canceled. A GoFundMe page is set up for a young aviation entrepreneur, and the 14th annual Electric Aircraft Symposium goes virtual. Happy Monday and welcome to the show. I'm Sophie Herlock. After much research, debate, and discussions with city officials and EAA leadership, the International Aerobatic Club Board of Directors has decided to cancel the 2020 U.S. National Aerobatic Championships, which were scheduled to take place September 20th through the 24th in Salina, Kansas. In an announcement posted on the IAC's website late Friday night, Robert Armstrong, IAC president, stated, We regret having this decision to make and believe that with safety as our focus in all matters of our sport, to continue without knowing what mid-September will bring in terms of the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic would be irresponsible. The go-slash-no-go date was moved ahead because we believe that IAC members deserve to know as early as possible so that they can make other plans with family, business, and school. As much as anyone, IAC leaders don't like being forced to make the decision to cancel by situations out of our control. With the daily and weekly uptick changes nationwide and Kansas' own infection figures from the coronavirus, there was no question that this is the right move for IAC, the city of Salina, and you. Kansas is requiring a 14-day quarantine of visitors from other high-risk states figured heavily into our decision, with many of our pilots and volunteers coming from Florida, Arizona, New York, and others affected. Stick around because when we return, we'll have the latest on where the B-29 Dock Flight Experience Tour is flying next. Swift Fuels proudly introduces the Forever Avgas STC. One simple upfront purchase entitles the Forever STC certificate holder to receive all current and future Avgas STCs that the FAA issues to Swift Fuels. The best part? It's priced today at only $100, and the prepaid certificate never expires. Get your Forever Avgas STC today at swiftfuelsavgas.com. Affordable and economical, Pipistrol is proud to present the Alpha Trainer. The aircraft can use as little as 2.5 gallons per hour in a flight school setting, with multiple students and instructors each day. This means that 13.2 gallons of fuel can effectively give you as much as 5 hours of endurance. Learn more about what the Pipistrel Alpha Trainer can do for you at pipistrel-usa.com. Like most of you, we're still working from home. We miss being around pilots. But the most important thing right now is to mitigate your risks and use this time productively while we all get through this. Folks, King Schools is open and we're 100% operational. We're making sure that your courses work and are available for you 24-7. We look forward to the time when we can see you again at the airport. Welcome back. It's time for today's trip around the patch. The B-29 Dock Flight Experience Tour will be stopping in Omaha, Nebraska the first weekend of August at Epley Air Field. Dock will arrive at the airfield on Friday, July 31st and will be available for flight experience rides on Saturday, August 1st and Sunday, August 2nd between 9 and 11 a.m. each day. For more information or to purchase ride tickets, head over to b29dock.com slash rides. The Triple Tree Aerodrome has decided to cancel their Fall 2020 series of events, which includes the Triple Tree Fly-In, Nall in the Fall, and the Heli Extravaganza. The decisions come as the number of COVID-19 cases increase both nationally and in the state of South Carolina. Rob Williams, executive director of the Triple Tree Aerodrome, stated, When you attend any of our events, you become family. Family takes care of each other and their well-being. On July 9th, Bombardier celebrated the 350th delivery of its Challenger 350 business jet. This delivery comes after only six years of the aircraft being in service. And as of May 31st, the worldwide fleet of in-service Challenger 350 aircraft accumulated more than 648,000 flight hours. The Challenger 350 also holds the title of best-selling super mid-sized business jet for six consecutive years, capturing 43% of the market share in 2019. 
Approval for the sale of all 12 lots of Raven Air Group assets was granted this week at the final bankruptcy court hearing. This included Raven Air Group's two Anchorage-based Part 121 passenger air carriers, Raven Air Alaska and Penn Air which were sold as a going concern along with many of the assets of these two companies. Both Raven Air Alaska and Penn Air were sold to Float Shuttle, a Los Angeles-based air commuter service. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. A GoFundMe page has been set up by Aerosport and Sport Aircraft Canada for Rachel St. Louis, a young entrepreneur to help her pay for an aircraft engine. What started out originally as a hobby, St. Louis started her jewelry making business at the age of 8 years old, which later led to her passion for aviation. She has since become a regular fixture at a number of aviation events, selling aviation inspired jewelry to help pay for a Bushcat light sport aircraft kit, which is almost complete. However, business has been slow for St. Louis ever since the COVID-19 pandemic caused the cancellation of most aviation events taking place this summer and fall. Rachel is currently working on getting her private pilot's license and was awarded a full ride to Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University through the Provost and the Women of Excellence Scholarship. If you would like to help support Rachel and her dream of flight, you can do so by making a donation on her GoFundMe page or by buying some of her jewelry at rachelsjewelrymachias.com. The 14th Annual Electric Aircraft Symposium organized by the Comparative Aircraft Flight Efficiency Foundation and co-sponsored by the Vertical Flight Society, will take place virtually for the first time, July 28th through the 30th. Usually held in conjunction with EAA AirVenture and Oshkosh, the event will feature three dozen of the world's leading electric aircraft developers and technology experts. There will be a total of 12 in-depth panel discussions covering the full spectrum of topics including electric aircraft configuration, propulsion system, community integration, market segments, testing and certification, as well as emerging regional markets. The CAFE Foundation and BFS have been working to advance electric aviation for many years. Electric and hybrid electric powered aircraft have the potential to significantly reduce air transportation costs, carbon emissions, and community noise, and enable new aviation markets. And that wraps up our show for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and to check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. To get more aviation and aerospace news any time of the day, head over to aero-news.net. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you Wednesday.